Hi, good day. Welcome to CMS. Till now we finish all the required calculation for quantity surveying and cost estimation and scheduling for the project, which give us a clear picture for our project cost and time. We need to confirm either our project have a proper feasibility or not. This is very important actually for all the developer who is working in the real estate and all the consultant who is making the design for clients to ensure that their design have a proper feasibility and will make a good profit for their clients. Let's see now how the CMS will make a proper calculation in feasibility study of the project. Click the feasibility study and follow the required steps. Step one is to insert the selling strategy, how we will sell our project. Step two, to insert the land cost because of course the project have a land price plus the other expenses during the execution. Step 3 is the marketing plan. What is the plan for selling the project? Step 4 here to run the report. Step 5 to render the report. At the end you will have our report of the feasibility study. So let's start now with the selling strategy. Step 1 selling strategy for the sellable area. Here you will enter the number of the units of the project, the total sellable area per meter square, the selling price for the square meter. Suppose you will insert here the description of the units. Suppose you have villas or apartments, the type of the apartment. You can here put your clear description for the units of the project. Here you will put also the number of the units for each item. Put the sellable area for each item and the price of the square meter how much you sell your unit per meter. At the end you have the total price of the selling for all the project. According to our project we have here for example this amount 381 million as a selling price. Of course we are putting here the common selling price in the market. Then you have to insert here the project selling method how you are planning to sell your units. Suppose you are making a marketing plan with advance payment and installment within years for example, here we intend to make an advance payment 10% and we'll make installment for 5 years and the installment will start after 1 month from the advance. Of course, this you can change according to your requirement and according to your plan and also this after receiving your report, if you didn't satisfy the report, you can change because CMS will give you now the figure for your required amount during the construction and after the construction. So. If you are satisfied with this report, you will keep the plan or you can change the plan according to the report results. So we'll take now step by step and at the end it will be clear. There is another expenses. The expenses not only for the construction as we did we already now according to CMS we have now the full cost of the construction only. Of course there is another expenses during the construction from your side as a developer because till now or we give the figure or the budget of the project from the contractor point of view or from contractor perspective how much this project will cost for material and labor and overhead and some taxes or fees further to this there is another expenses from the developer point of view which is the market marketing cost and the selling VAT and the profit tax and also the monthly administration during the execution and also monthly administration after the execution. As a developer, you will still selling your units and receive an installment and you'll have some overhead and administration after the execution. So this also must be considered. So what you will, what you will insert now here, you will insert here the additional expenses, which is the marketing cost. We consider here as a 5%. We're considering also a tax for the registration after selling the unit, which, which is 5% also from the selling price. We'll, we can consider also the profit tax if it's 5 or 10 or 20 percent according to your country. We'll consider here at, here at 10 percent plus also here the discount rate which is the annual interest from the banks. When you are taking any loan from the bank to set up your project you have to pay an interest or a discount rate. And this also must be considered. At the end CMS will give you the figure and will give you the evaluation for your project either it is feasible or not comparing with the discount rate in the banks and they will calculate the internal rate of return depending on this 
so that's some of the required admin, uh, addition expenses also as we said we have to insert also the monthly expenses or the monthly administration during the construction we consider here as, as 40,000 and also the monthly administration cost after the execution and we consider here as a less amount for 5,000 because there is it will not be too much administration cost there only like an accountant who's looking after the installment and and arrange for the receiving finance one of the other important expense is the land cost normally as a developer when you are going to make a construction of course you need a land to set up your project there either you, you will purchase this land or you will share this land with a landlord there is some types of sharing between you and landlord we already summarized here in CMS we provide five options the first option is sharing the sales revenue by a percentage between the developer against the landlord that means this amount which is the value of the selling revenue will be shared between you as a developer and a landlord suppose you don't need to purchase a land you will start the construction or you will make the development meanwhile you will share the landlord take a percentage this this percentage must be agreed between you and landlord so let's take this example and now we'll talk about this percentage here you have to add this percentage sharing the selling revenue to the developer with percentage of that means what is the percentage you will take as a developer suppose you will agree to have 60 percent as a developer the second option is to share the revenue between you as a developer and the landlord same time you will give him an advance as a refundable in this time the landlord will agree for this sharing but he'll ask you in advance that he need from your side some amount as an advance and it will be deducted from his revenue amount the third option sharing the sales revenue by percentage between the developer against revenue percentage and non-refundable advance to the landlord in this case the landlord will ask you for advance and not to be deducted from his revenue after selling the units option four developer against revenue percentage non-refundable advance and refundable amount to the landlord in this case the landlord will ask you for a percentage of the revenue and advance it will not be refundable and a refundable amount will be deducted from his revenue after selling the units the last option is purchasing the land plot by the developer the, the developer decide to take or to purchase the land from the landlord without any kind of sharing with him we'll discuss all these options and we'll tell how to insert in CMS let's talk about the first option sharing the selling revenue by percentage between the developer against the landlord will agree for 60% for the developer and the 40% of course will be for the landlord in this case if you take the 60% as a developer and 40% for the landlord you will find the total revenue from your side which is 60% of this amount it will be 228 but what is your expenses your expenses is the construction cost which is which is 264 million plus the marketing and the other expenses which we talk about already the net total revenue uh, for a developer which is 60 percent of the total revenue it's 228 million meanwhile the total net expenses which is the construction cost 264 plus all the other expenses which we mentioned here the marketing cost and the profit tax and registration tax and all the administration coming for 282 that means this percentage is not fair and it cannot be considered so this must be changed let's try a 70 percent now we are a developer and you need to check how to deal with the landlord even 70 percent is not enough because the revenue will come for 266 but still your expense is 289 in this case 
you already reach for 70% as a developer and 30% for the landlord and you still have a lose in this case the market price here is not feasible either your market price is not feasible or the saleable area of your project is, no, is not feasible in this case you have to either to increase the, the saleable area or to make some advantage in your project to increase the selling rate price let's propose a solution now to increase the saleable price but after give an advantage for the customers by by increase the installment period instead of five years to be six years this will give some advantage and we can accordingly increase the price of our saleable unit so let's increase the saleable rate here for 15,000 for this apartment and here make it 13,500 for this kind of apartment and let's make 12,000 and for the commercial make it 17,000 so that's the new selling revenue or the new selling price for the project accordingly you will have here the net total revenue which is 70% of the selling revenue 327 million and in this case your total expense will be 301 million we will observe here that the price or the cost also will be increased the double percentage is increased and also the the years of installment or the duration of the installment is also increased so we have increasing in the marketing cost and increasing in the installment and the administration cost let's see now how this number is calculated we now we know how the total revenue is came from the profit sharing between the developer and landlord but now let's see how this number is came by checking now the marketing plan we divide here the marketing plan for 10 stages CMS consider that you will sell your project unit in 10 stages the total percentage of this 10 stage of course of course must be a hundred percent we'll consider in stage one we will sell five percent and this will be after three months of your starting execution stage two also five percent after five months of your starting the execution stage three you will sell also five percent after seven months of starting the execution stage four you will sell five percent after nine months of starting the execution stage five ten percent in eleven months of execution stage six ten percent after thirteen months of execution stage seven fifteen percent after fourteen months stage eight fifteen percent after fifteen months why we are increasing the percentage because when the project is coming as a reality will be a good advantage for the customers to purchase immediately stage 10 you will have 15 percent in the months of 17. you will find here cms makes a full plan and and inform how much you will take every month if you try to change any of them it will be changed easily and if you will sell stage one in the first month you will just put one the number will change stage two you will decide it to be in second month the number will change it and if you consider in second the second stage will be a 10 percent also the number will change in this case you have to of course this all total must be 100 percent but now it's 105 that means you will remove the five percent from the end if you consider that in stage three it will be also 10 percent in month five it will be considered it will give you a good opportunity to change your plan easily and to compare your plans with each other at the end these numbers will convert it to a cash flow or let's say it will be converted for an income cash flow to be compared by the outgoing cash flow and will tell you what is the required capital to execute your project so that's the plan which is required from your side to insert how you will insert the percentage in each stage and when you will do it each month not necessary to go for the 10 stages maybe you will go for only five stages 20 20 20 20 20 five stages for 20 percent okay finish no problem if that's your plan if the market is open and have a good opportunity to sell your your units 
easily in five months or in three months or in four months or whatever in five or six stages or in two stages or three stages this is according to the market and according to your plan you will put your plan okay and in which months that's what you required from your side in for your marketing plan it is very easy let's see how he calculate same as considering here the marketing cost which is five percent as you inserted that's the cost of the marketing he distributed also all the expenses for the marketing cost registration taxes which is five percent also same is distributed it will be of course it will be paid during the selling here is the monthly revenue which is coming because of this income cash flow that's the cumulative of it that's the annual revenue you have a big chart here so each year you will have the annual revenue and of course annual expenses each year already see miscalculate calculate everything you will not do any effort for this and that's the cumulative net profit so again you will insert the selling strategy how much you will pay you will provide the method of the land cost and we will still talking about this now we're still in the first option you will insert the marketing plan the stages then run for reports the step four is complete we go for step five investment evaluation report is ready thanks for waiting go to report when you make render you will go for the report the report is telling you here that's your investment evaluation first year you will have a net profit with minus 100 that means you have to pay this 100 million because you will you have an expense 123 but your revenue will be 23 only second year is minus 81 because you'll have an expense almost 146 and your revenue is 64 only third year it will be positive fourth year positive so the next will be positive the net profit it will be 40 million which is a difference between 343 and the 303 but this is not only the way to evaluate your projects you have to also check about the final evaluation from CMS he's telling you now that's the project cost that's your revenue the period of the project is 23 the period of the investment is 89 because you give an installment till six years plus also the last date of your selling so you have an investment period for 89 months that's the net profit that's the net profit ratio 22 percent within seven almost seven years the internal rate of return is 5.9 and the net present value is 4,539,000 and the profitability index is 0.96 actually that's your target according to your company policy you have to confirm either these numbers is suitable for your company or not this, this must be confirmed by the top management of your company according to your company policy CMS is giving you this amount for your side to take the required action if you are not satisfied with these numbers either to change the sellable price and en enhance your facilities to increase the sellable price or to increase the sellable area in your project or to change the marketing plan let's take an example now if we change the marketing plan only what will be the result let's remember that the IRR is 5.9 net present value 4,500,000 and profitability index is 0.96 let's change now the marketing plan and we'll see what will be the results well till here we'll sell first stage 10% second stage 20% and the fourth stage is 10% let's see the numbers in the report IRR change it to 10% net present value changed to 29 million instead of 4 million and profitability index changed to 1.12 more than 1 which is required so changing only the marketing plan will change your report changing also the selling method 
let's say 15% an advance payment instead of 10 what will be the difference let's see the report the IRR changed to 11% net present value changed for 31 and also probability index increased and the capital which required for do your project is decreased when you increase your advance payment which will take from your customers of course your capital will be decreased let's make another trial take 25 percent let's see the report required capital instead of 150 it is 125 million and your internal rate of return is increased your net present value is increased your profitability index also increased so there is more to do to increase your profit CMS gave you a graph between the cumulative expenses and the cumulative revenue all this gap in the center must be covered by the employer how much for this is the required capital 120 million within two years how it will be paid first year almost 63 million second year almost 61 million the other the next year it will be only a revenue next year the cash flow with positive first two years the cash flow with negative how it will be expenses like this that's the expenses required per month every month that's the variance between the expenses and the revenue for almost 23 months two years that's the, that's what CMS will present for you again what you will do only is to insert your selling price your plan for selling your other expenses how you will deal with the landlord and what's your marketing plan we'll take an example how to deal with the ma with the landlord with the other options first option by the sharing the sales revenue by a percentage between the developer against the landlord second option it will be sharing the sales revenue by a percentage between the developer against revenue percentage for landlord and also refundable advance for him the landlord asks you for the percentage of the total selling revenue plus refundable advance what the meaning of refundable advance he will he will take from you an amount now and it will be deducted from him after selling the units say you will agree for this and you will agree together an 80 percent for the developer and the landlord ask for a 15 million in advance as a refundable so you will add it here in refundable advance so you will find here that's your net revenue you will receive and that's the total expense you will if you will still work in the same marketing marketing and selling plan let's see the report what will say in this case that's your negative cash flow in these two years that's your IRR and NPV and the profit index and that's the diagram to show the show the income and outgoing cash flow and that's the diagram showing the required cash flow per month according to this information you will decide you will proceed with this project and with this condition with the landlord or not let's take another option for dealing with landlord if he insists for 40 percent for his for him side that means 60 percent for the developer let's see the report what will say you will have irr of 7.8 net present value is 11 million and profitability index 1.02 if it's approved by the top management or according to the company policy you will proceed for your project let's take another option let's go for option three if the landlord ask for revenue percentage and non-refundable advance and refundable advance that means he asks you two advances one to be refundable one and one not to be refunded to you plus percentage of the project revenue 
how to deal with this let's keep those the same and here we need another amount to be non-refundable the non-refundable will be inserted here in this cell purchase land price or non-refundable payment for the landlord suppose he asked for another 10 million as an unrefundable in this case you will have here the net total revenue from your, for your side is 285 and your expense will be 306 if you check the report you will find the net present value per minus and the IRR is below the discount rate must be at least above the discount rate and the profitability index must be above one so in this case you will lose if you will proceed with your, with your project with this condition in this case you have to change the deal with the landlord and increase your percentage of profit let's try 70 percent you have here the revenue more than the expenses let's check the profitability you will find here IRR 12 and 12% 12 which is more than the discount rate net present value 13 million and 1.18 profitability index which is above 1 if you agree for this percentage and this um, this information so it proceed with your project with these conditions let's take an example in case of a change of the discount rate if your country if your country have suppose 15% discount rate what the meaning of discount rate that's the common annual interest in your country banks how will be the report in this case the net present value is coming per minus and IR is less than the discount rate which is 15 and the probability index now below 1 in this case why this happened why now we are losing because the discount rate is your country is more because you have now required the capital with 132 million this shall be either by loan or an amount have a finance charge in this case there is a rate or an interest in this amount this must be considered in the internal rate of return and the net present value and the profitability index so all this information is very very important during design your project and decide the rates of the if your selling price and decide how you will deal with your partner which is the landlord of course in this case you have to change the agreement with the landlord and also find another solution by change the marketing plan or change the selling price or increase the sellable area here when you uh, when you pay for the landlord and refundable amount this refundable amount can be paid for the landlord in advance or in installment if it's in installment you will add here the installment period you will start maybe from month 1 till month 12 or from month 1 till month 6 according to the duration which will give him his non-refundable amount also everything will change and even this amount or this way of installment will change your IRR or it will change your profit if you check the report you will find this number is changed and instead of 31 it's come for 30 million only because of the how to how you paid the amount instead you paid in 12 months you paid for six months you have a lose here for 1 million that's it that's the business and that's how CMS reflect all this data and reflect all this information and, and present it for you clearly and by very easy way for your side to make your decision let's go for the last option which is purchasing the land blocked by the developer you are a developer and you come to purchase the land in this case you will have the hundred percent no refundable amount but there is a purchase amount for the land how much you purchase the land this is very important how you will decide or how you will agree for the price of the land say the landlord ask you for 100 million for his land 100 million within six months so he ask you to pay this 100 million within six months 
so you have an installment monthly installment almost more than 16 million you already have the installment and have the marketing plan and you have the selling price for your project without going for the report your revenue is 367 million and your cost now is 404 so you will refuse the deal let's try 70 million now it's coming more okay and you also need the 70 million in six months let's go for the report and the check you have here too much amount you have to pay in the first year because you will pay the full amount of the land in the first year let's go for the report you have a good internal rate of return and 31 million net present value and probability index is more than one your internal rate of return is more than the five percent which is the common discount rate in the banks you can agree for this if this number is satisfy your company policy that was the five options how to deal with the landlord how to decide how you will pay for the land only balance one thing in case if the landlord asks you to pay the full amount in advance if you put the mouse here you can write here this step insert in case of option three and four and five three and four and five which are related to amount to be paid for the landlord either by refundable amount non-refundable amount in case of the non-refundable amount and purchasing of the plot or purchasing of the land that is the three four and five in this case if the landlord asks you to pay the full amount in advance you have to add here the amount one time and check the report now internal rate of return is come a little bit down but if it's already accepted for your side or accepted for your company so you will proceed accordingly here as you see the graph you need a big amount in the beginning of the project which is the diagram of the expenses the red color and that's the required monthly cash flow during your project that's how to make a feasibility study after completing this and decide what you will do with the design and the selling plan and the rate of the selling and how to deal with the landlord you have the full data and information and reports for printing this all can be printed and presented and to discuss with your team that's now for the feasibility study by this feasibility study we already finished all the steps before you start executing your project all these steps one two three four are required before starting your project the file the last one which is the feasibility study we inserted here in CMS to allow you confirm enhancement and how you will do this enhancement and improvement for your project and to avoid any kind of risk or any kind of lose in the future from the next videos we will start management and cost control for your project during your execution thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye